This morning we were out at Maud Reef, just outside of Ford Cove on Hornby Island, and we were looking at our kelp plantation with some friends from Sea Legacy. So the idea is just to uh, get some more people hearing about what we're doing there, sharing the word about kelp on World Oceans Day. The point of the Maud Reef site out there is to allow an artificial bed of kelp to be grown on a yearly basis so we can do uh, research work on that kelp. Since no natural kelp occurs in the area, we have to actually grow it artificially and we use that plantation site as our main sort of study area. There's other areas throughout the uh, Strait of Georgia, but that's our main research site. It's at a site where a wild kelp bed did grow for, for many years. We have some concrete blocks that anchor the corners of the structure, and then attached to those blocks is a grid of ropes that supports the growing kelp. And each year we add seeded planting line to that that has the new baby kelps on it, and then it grows up to its full size. Obviously, we would like kelp to be growing in the Strait of Georgia again. Before that can happen, there's a lot of things that we don't understand very clearly yet about kelp. So we're studying um, effects of temperature and light um, and some other aspects of the environment. A new thing at our research site this year is we have a little urchin exclosure. So it's basically a little underwater fence. What we're doing is paying attention to the differences between habitat where the urchins can reach it and um, habitat where they're not able to get there. It's more complicated than just saying it's all the urchin's fault. I think they're probably one of many straws on the camel's back. This is called the holdfast. It looks a bit like a root on a tree and its job is to attach the kelp to the bottom. The long skinny part is called the stipe. This is called the nematocyst, so it's actually a gas-filled bladder and this floats the kelp up to the surface where the sun is. And then you have these long fronds, which is the part that grows really, really fast. This tears away from the adult plant and it's negatively buoyant, it sinks to the bottom. It produces spores and then they grow into a little plant and it produces eggs and sperm. And then that travels off into the water, fertilizes, and when that lands again, it grows into this. They're one of the fastest growing plants. Under ideal conditions, they can grow one to two feet a day. Puts on a tremendous amount of biomass in a short time when the days are long and sunny. And we were just coming back from our kelp kind of show and tell, and there was a group of orcas went through the area, which was a nice treat. So we had a group of transient orcas pass through and fed on a seal. We got to get some nice interaction with them. So it's always, always a treat out in the water. You never know what you're gonna find.